As we approach the vehicle, we make sure that the truck appears to be level. Uh, there's no low tires, the frame's not bent, and there doesn't appear to be any fluids leaking underneath it. Okay, then we'll go and unlatch the side. When we unlatch this one, always make sure and pull these down far enough so they don't get caught. When you pull the hood down, put your foot up here and pull the hood down. Try not to drop it. And then we'll start on the passenger side of the engine. Okay. Here we're gonna start with the coolant. This is where it's mounted securely. It's not leaking. The coolant's for the radiator here. Make sure everything's mounted securely, not leaking. Check the, all the blades here on the fan. Make sure, no, sure none of them are cracked or broken or missing. I check the belts. Make sure that they're not cracked or frayed. They don't have more than a half inch play. This is the air conditioner and the alternator. These are both belt driven. They're mounted securely and the belt's not cracked or frayed. This is the water pump. It is mounted securely. This one's gear driven and it's not leaking. Here's where I check and fill the oil. I just make sure that there's nothing leaking. And then I check all the clamps and hoses, make sure that everything is secure and not leaking. Now I'll check the tractor suspension. Here's the front and rear hanger. I'd make sure that they're bolted securely to the frame. I check the leaf springs. None of them can be cracked or broken or missing. I check the U-bolts. Make sure that the U-bolts are secure and they're there, not cracked or broken. And I check the shock. Make sure the shock is mounted securely on the top and the bottom. It's not bent or twisted or leaking. Here's the air hoses. Make sure that the air hoses are not leaking and there's no cracks or frays. Here's the brake chamber. Make sure that the brake chamber is not rusting. There's no non-manufactured holes. And then I, here I check the slack adjuster and the push rod. Make sure that all the parts are there and they can't move at all when the brakes are applied. Then I would check the linings or the shoes. The linings have to have at least a quarter inch of material, no fluids on it. And then the drum can't have any cracks or welds, no fluid on it. Then I'm gonna check the tires. Make sure that the tires, you have to check the inflation, condition, and depth. I check the tread depth. Make sure that it's at least four thirty seconds on the steering tires in any major groove and they're wearing evenly. I check the inflation with a mallet or at the valve stem. I check the uh, condition. Make sure that there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. I check the rim. Make sure that there's no cracks or welds. I check to make sure all the lug nuts are there and they're tight. And I check the hub seal, making sure that it's full and not leaking anywhere. On the driver's side, I check the fan blades again, make sure they're not cracked or broken. I check the belt on this side. Here's the power steering pump. I'd make sure that that's mounted securely. It's gear driven and I'd make sure that there's no leaks. Here's the power steering reservoir. It's mounted securely and not leaking on any of these hoses. And then here's my air compressor. The air compressor is mounted securely. It's not leaking air and this is gear driven. I check the steering column, make sure that it's not bent or twisted. I check the top of it and the bottom U joints here. I check the steering gearbox, make sure that it's mounted securely to the frame. And I check all these hoses, make sure that they're not leaking. Then from here, all the way along here, 
I would check the steering linkage and make sure that all of the parts are there. None of them are cracked or broken or missing. Then I would say I check the suspension, the brakes, and the tires like I did on the other side, but you don't have to name each of the parts again. Here's the washer fluid. I checked the washer fluid. Uh, this one you can't see the tank, it's underneath way back here, but you just make sure that it's not leaking and here's where you'd fill it. And I checked the wipers to make sure that they have enough rubber on them and the windshield's not cracked or broken. Mirrors, make sure that they're mounted securely. Check the handles, check the door, make sure that it opens and latches properly. I check the fuel tank here, make sure the cap's in place and no fluids leaking, it's secure. I check the steps or the fairing, make sure that these are mounted securely, uh, not bent, broken, handle secure. I'd open up the side here. I would make sure that I have my fire extinguisher rated for what I needed. I would have my three reflective triangles and I would have fuses either in here or in the glove box. Those are the three required safety equipment. Make sure the door latches properly. I check this side light, make sure it's not cracked or broken. I check the handle, make sure that it's mounted securely. Underneath here are your batteries. You don't have to take the cover off, but you'd make sure that this is secure and there doesn't appear to be any leaks. I check my electric line here, make sure that it's not down here on the catwalk. I check the air hoses, make sure that they're not leaking. The glad hands are secure. I check the deck plates, make sure that, or catwalks, these are all secure to the frame. I check the drive shaft, make sure that it's not bent or twisted. It's secure with U joints that you can't see really. And then your frame is not bent or twisted and no cracks on it. So I'll start with the suspension. Here's your front hanger. Make sure that it's mounted securely to the frame. I check the leaf springs. Make sure that they're not cracked or broken or missing. I check the U-bolts. They're a little bit longer here. Make sure they're not cracked or broken or missing. I check the airbag, or excuse me, the shock. Make sure it's not bent or twisted. Check it, make sure it's secure on the top and the bottom. And then your airbag is what secures the back of your leaf springs. So your airbag has to be secure on the top and the bottom, not leaking or dry rotted. So on the air brakes, I would check with the air hoses, make sure that they're not leaking. I was going to your brake chamber, make sure that your brake chamber is not rusting, doesn't have any non-manufactured holes. I check the slack adjuster and the push rod, even though you can't see it, just the end of it, make sure that all the parts are there and they can't move. And then I would check the linings again. Make sure that the linings have at least a quarter inch of material and then no fluids on it. And the drum doesn't have any fluids on it and it's not cracked or broken. Okay. Now we'll check the drive tires. The drive tires have to be a matching set. You have to check the spacing between them and the spacing between the trailer and the tires. You check the inflation, condition, and depth. So inflation, I check it with a mallet or at the valve stem. I check the depth, make sure that it has at least 230 seconds and all the tread is even. And the condition, make sure that there is no uh, abrasions, bulges, or cuts on any side. I check the rim, make sure there's no cracks or welds. All the lug nuts are tight and there. And then the hub seal here is not leaking. On the rear of the tractor, we're going to check the mud flaps, the reflective tape, make sure everything's mounted securely. I check these lights, make sure that they're not cracked or broken. Then I would look up into the fifth wheel to make sure that the locking jaws are secure around the shank of the kingpin. All right, so here you're gonna check with the lower plate or the platform, make sure that it's mounted securely to the frame and all these bolts are in place. 
I check this pivot pin, make sure that it's mounted securely. I check the release handle, make sure that it's locked in place. I check to make sure that there's no gap between the fifth wheel and the trailer. And then the upper plate of the trailer or the apron, make sure all the welds look good and there's no rust on it. So here on the trailer, I'm gonna check the front and side lights, make sure they're not cracked or broken. I would check the trailer, make sure that it has reflective tape all the way down the side. The frame doesn't appear to be bent. And the deck plate here, make sure that everything is secure and nothing's loose. I check the landing gear, make sure that it's mounted securely, no loose parts, and the handle is stowed in place. And as I walk along the trailer, I just check all the side lights, I check to make sure there's nothing loose. If there's parts up here, I make sure that they're all secure. I check this side light again, make sure it's not cracked or broken. I would look at this axle, I check the suspension brakes and tires like I did before, but I'm gonna say everything on the back axle. So make sure you look at this one. Again, there's another light there. Make sure your mud flap is secure. Here I check the trailer tires. I make sure that they're a matching set. I have to check the spacing between them and the spacing between the trailer and the tires. I check the inflation, the condition and the depth. I check the inflation with the mallet or at the valve stem. I check the depth. They have to have at least 230 seconds in any major groove and they're wearing evenly. And I check the condition. There's no abrasions, bulges or cuts on any side. I check the rim, make sure that there's no cracks or welds. I check all the lug nuts, make sure that they're tight and all there. And my hub seal here is full and not leaking. On the trailer suspension, here's the front hanger. I make sure that this suspension arm or beam is bolted in place and is secure. I check the U-bolts, make sure that they're mounted securely not cracked or broken. I check the shock, make sure that it's not bent or twisted, mounted securely. And I check the airbag, make sure that it's mounted securely on the top and the bottom, not leaking or dry rotted. I check these air hoses. I check my brake chambers, make sure that they're not leaking, don't have any rust or non-manufactured holes. I check the slack adjuster and the push rod. Make sure that all the parts are there and they don't move because the brakes are applied. And then I would check the linings or shoes. Make sure they have at least a quarter inch of material, no fluids on them, no cracks. And the drum can be discolored, no fluids on it, and no cracks. Here I check the side light and all the back trailer lights here. Make sure they're not cracked or broken. Are missing. I check the reflective tape, make sure that it's secure and all there. I check the bumper, make sure that it's mounted securely. And I check these mud flaps, make sure that they're mounted securely. And I check the license plate. On this side, I'll walk up the trailer and I would just check everything like I did on the other side. I would check the suspension, brakes, tires, and make sure that everything's mounted securely. If you forgot something on the other side, you can say it. Frame's not bent, everything's secure, lights aren't cracked or broken. Usually I would say this spare tire rack, make sure that it's secure. The landing gear is up all the way. Side lights aren't broken. Mud flap is secure. And on the drive tires, you could say the suspension brakes and tires or the fifth wheel if you forgot anything. Otherwise, you just say I'd check it like I did the other side. Front and side lights, make sure they're not cracked or broken. I check the handles, the lights, make sure that everything is secure. You have to say the exhaust. The exhaust is secure on the top and the bottom. If it was leaking, you would see black soot going down the side. So everything is secure. The handle is secure, door opens and closes. And you have another fuel tank on this side. So you make sure that it's not leaking and everything is secure. When you come around to the front, 
Then you want to put the hood down. Make sure you don't drop it. Take a step back. Check the headlights and clearance lights. Make sure they're not cracked or broken. You check the side mirror here. Make sure that it's secure. And then you come around and latch it. On both sides. Right, when you enter the vehicle, first you need to put your safety belt on. Make sure that it latches securely. Adjust your seat. I check the mirrors. Make sure that they're adjusted for the driver. Check the horn. One of them has to work. I check the steering wheel. Make sure that it doesn't have more than two inches or 10 degrees. And make sure that it's in neutral for a safe start. This one, you turn the key and push the button. From here, I like to go left to right. So from the start, I go right up here, I check the water, the oil, the volts, and the two air pressure gauges. Make sure that everything's in normal operating range. And I'm gonna check the lights. If you flick it up, that does your headlights. Flick it down, it's just your clearance lights. So you have to flick it up all the way. And then again, back to the left, I check my high beams. I check the turn signal, works inside. This one doesn't work inside all the time. Works inside, we'll check it outside in a minute. And I check the four ways. Again, this one has a short in it in the dash. And I would check the lights, then the wipers. You push it in to make the fluid go. And then you have to check the heater and the defrost. So you're gonna turn it all the way on. Check the defrost. And then check the heat. brake checks. We're going to do the two knobs and then the one on the floor. So we're going to put the clutch in, drop it down into first. Then I'm going to release the trailer brake. So I have the tractor set. It's pulled out. And I'm just going to let my foot off the clutch and it should hold the truck. Okay. And I'm going to pull the tra trailer and push in the tractor. So now we're going to check the trailer brake. Let the clutch out a little bit. Now I'm going to push them both in and we're going to do the service pedal. So I'm going to let the clutch out and roll forward just a little bit, then push the clutch and the brake in at the same time. Then I put it into neutral, set the brakes, move my feet, and turn the truck off. This is the start of the air brake check. The air brake check is an automatic fail. So if you make a mistake, start back over from this point. You're gonna turn the key on. Make sure that your brakes are pushed in. You should have at least 100 pounds of air pressure. And again, so keys on, brakes are in. First thing you're gonna do is apply pressure and you're gonna watch these gauges. You can't lose more than four pounds in a minute. 4 PSI, pounds per square inch. So you can check the light, or check the clock right here too. I'm not gonna hold it for a whole minute, but you would hold it for a whole minute. Now I'm going to pump the pedal, or fan off some air, and around 60, then the buzzer or light should come on, the low warning pressure. So you can see the one on the dash came on. The buzzer didn't come on this time, but sometimes the buzzer will come on. Now I'm gonna pump it again, and between 20 and 45, then these valves should pop out. In this truck, it's closer to zero. These valves will pop out. Once the valves pop out, then you have brakes again. So you make sure that everything is good. Make sure you're in neutral. Safe start. There's the buzzer. You can set the cruise. I love to about 13, 1400 RPMs. That gets your idle going faster. Then you would ask the tester to get out and help you check the lights so you make sure that they're all working. When the 
tester gets back in, then you'll see how you did. Good luck.